Hey Sagittarius, what's going on? What's happening for you guys in love? We're gonna see what's happening. This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading for May 2022. This is for Sag, Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. You also could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest. Do not force it to fit. If it's your reading and you want to show your love and support of my channel, what I do, I appreciate it greatly. If you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Sag, if you want a personal tarot reading, I am available. All the information is in the description box. You can go straight to my Etsy. I offer video recorded readings as well as Etsy message readings. Quick turnaround, two to four days. And I also have my decks available on Etsy. All right, more to come. Sag, let's see what's happening for you guys. Messages for Sag in love. All right, let's start off with the challenge you guys could be facing. What's the challenge for my Sagittarius, please? Sagittarius, the challenge for you guys is the wheel. Um, so the wheel is about good fortune, changes. I feel for some of you Sagittarius, you're not seeing this happen. You're not seeing these changes happening. You don't, you don't feel like something's happening for a higher cause, a higher reason, for your benefit. Um, there's something, some kind of divine plan here, okay? With the wheel coming out in the upright direction, I feel like there is definitely um, changes that you're not aware of, you're not seeing, but it's all for the better. It's pushing you forward. There's progress. There's abundance coming in, right? There's changes that are going to perhaps open doors for you. So let's see what this wheel looks like. It's in a challenging position. So again, a lot of you, you're not seeing this, okay? And if you see this card, we have the monkey blindfolded. So a lot of you guys, you're blinded to the fact that things are working for your higher, uh, your, your higher, your higher good, your divine good, okay? In the recent past, my sweet Sagittarius, we have the Page of Swords, King of Wands in a verse and a chariot. Now, there's something here that Sagittarius, you had to pull away from, okay? I feel like there's a situation here that you wanted a victory over. The chariot is wanting change, wanting victory, wanting to achieve, wanting some kind of successful outcome. I feel like there's someone in a past Sagittarius you were hesitant. I'm getting the energy that you were unsure. Um, you were questioning someone's maybe motives intentions you could have felt like someone didn't have your best interests at heart and i feel like even though things were moving forward you questioned it there's a lot of questioning here with the page of swords trying to find out facts trying to investigate trying to do research uh it was almost like you were trying to uncover the truth so it does look like while things were moving forward for you and it could have led to a victory it's like the king of wands in verse if this is your energy which i do feel it is a lot of you guys, you were putting the brakes on it. So we're going to find out why that may be. You could be dealing with a cancer. Some of you guys, there may have been some communication issues or blockages between you and this person. And you didn't know what to think. It's almost like this could be someone that one moment they were communicating, they were talking to you, they were consistent, and the next moment they weren't, right? And so you may have questioned this person's motives. So the current energy, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The moon. Fears, secrets, insecurities, okay? We have the two swords with the magician in a verse. A lot of you Sagittarius, you're afraid of what you don't know. You're afraid of what you don't know. And what that's doing, is, it's killing a dream. You know, it's, it's stopping something from being able to manifest, to create, right? There's an opportunity here, perhaps. I feel the moon is also speaking about maybe some things you're holding on from the past. This could be uh, hidden trauma, unprocessed trauma. This could be... Um, Things you feel that are hidden from you like a secret. I feel like there's someone here in your life that you don't entirely trust. And I almost feel like there could be a reason here. Some of you guys, you don't trust someone in your life because first off, they've done something here in the past where they kept something from you and you may have found out. This can also be someone you find to be untrustworthy. Maybe they manipulated you. This is someone that may do things for their own good, right? The magician is in reverse. This could be someone that you felt took advantage of you. So there is something here where you are making a decision, Sagittarius. Okay, this could be a decision choosing between two things, 
to options, to opportunities, to people. But something may be having to get cut out. And this could be, you know, addressing your fears. Why are you feeling this way? Maybe there's something that you're going through. Maybe there's something you're holding on to that isn't serving you that you're having to let go. Because that is creating a blockage for manifesting what you want with a particular individual. All right, so Sag, on your mind, King of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You know, a lot of you guys are questioning someone's true motives if they're really truly invested because you're dealing with someone who has the ability to give you what you need stability security i think that you look at this person as someone that you can grow with have a family with settle down with i even feel like you want commitment with this person i feel like that's the expectation that's the plan that's the vision but there's something here with sagittarius um and this could be you, right? Eight of Pentacles in verse. Someone isn't giving their all. Someone is not putting all of their energy, their time, their effort into a situation. And therefore, it's not bringing the change that they want. Eight of Pentacles in verse is a lack of change. So let's look at what's in the foundation, what you're not aware of, what you're not seeing. The star, Aquarius energy, the ten of wands, and the ten of swords. Whoever you're dealing with, I feel like they're going through quite a bit. And I even feel like this has nothing to do with you, Sagittarius. But it has a lot to do with this connection, okay? Um, I feel like this is someone that could be even going through some personal issues that is affecting this connection indirectly. This is someone here who does have high hopes, dreams, aspirations for you and them. This is someone that thinks very highly of you. They find you very admirable. They find you very strong. They know that you're special. This is unique. This is someone here who does want to recover this connection. But right now, Sagittarius, they are going through some things. Okay, I'm going to say it again. This person is going through some things. The Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. This is someone who has hit an all-time low in their life. Personal life, career, work, finances, family, health, whatever. There's something this person has gone through. And it's burdening them. It feels very heavy. It feels like there's a lot of responsibilities on their plate right now. And so with this Ten of Swords, they've hit an all-time low. And when you're at this all-time low, hit rock bottom in, in some area of your life, it can be difficult to give the time and attention to perhaps a love connection, right? It's almost like something had to give. They may have pulled away or have not been showing as much interest as they typically do because of what they're going through, okay? So keep that in mind. So Sagittarius, let's see what the outcome is. Empress, Page of Pentacles came out. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Well, wow. Well, wow, right? Page of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. There is something here that is going to pick up. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's someone who is going to extend an offer. I feel like this can even be you, Sagittarius, kind of opening up um, the dialogue between you and this person. This could be you offering your time. This could be you initiating something here. Whatever this page of pentacles, there's some kind of offer. There's some kind of idea that we can have this. We can build upon this. And yes, there is a new beginning, a new very promising beginning. Ace of pentacles. Something is very... Um, very, very promising, secure. This is about a new beginning that's coming in that's going to really bring some kind of long-term stability. This is a commitment. This can even lead to marriage. So I feel like whoever this is, there is a lot of growth. There's a lot of opportunity. The Empress is here. The Empress speaks about um, fertility, new beginnings, fertility, uh, creativity, I'm sorry. And this is a uh, nurturing something for it to grow, right? So I feel like this could be this person viewing you as the empress. This also could be the energy. Whatever it is, it's a good, it's a beautiful card to get in the outcome. It's about new beginnings, flourishing, abundance, right? And um, she embodies all the qualities of all the queens, right? There is love. There is um desire there's passion there's um you know someone here who really really truly wants this they believe it has great potential for some kind of long-term opportunity here so let's jump right in i even feel like some of you guys you could be getting pregnant in the near future with this person the empress i like it 
Okay, let's jump right in. You could be buying a home. It's like you guys could be really taking steps forward and expanding, broadening your horizons. Um, I'm even seeing a lot of financial opportunities with this person. Some of you guys, it's like you're starting a business together. Like there's love, there's romance, but there's also opportunities for a lot of um, financial growth, generating financial wealth with this person. All right. The wheel. Let's jump right in. I love the outcome, by the way, you guys. The wheel of fortune. What's this about? What is this challenge? Two of swords in reverse. Sagittarius, the biggest challenge for you guys is to... You see, some of you guys are not seeing it, right? Didn't I say you're not seeing something because of two of swords? Typically, the two of swords is when there's someone here that's blinded, right? The blind, um, it's someone who has the blindfold over their eyes and therefore they can't seem to make a decision. Now... You're getting out of that. The challenge for you guys is to whip that blindfold off and make a decision and get out of this two of swords, this crossroads. There's something that you're keeping yourself stuck in. And I want to say this is like literally you're doing it to yourself, okay? You're making a decision and you may be cutting something out. This could be negativity. This could be overthinking. This could be fears. Swords typically deal with our mental energy. Um, Sagittarius, look at the past. What happened in the past? The devil, the nine of pentacles in a verse, and the eight of swords. I feel someone here really had a legit fear of partnership, coming together, commitment. They had a real fear of giving up maybe their freedom. This is someone that could have been um, tied to their toxic behavior, ways of living, reckless behavior. There's something from the past they're holding on to. The devil, it's not serving them. It's not serving you. It's not serving the connection. So I feel like this eight of swords is anxiety. It's stress. It's frustration regarding giving up something. And it's regarding coming together in a relationship. I feel like this is someone that really wanted a future with you. They saw having a victory with you. They wanted you in their life. But it's almost like there was an adjustment period. This person, you know, may have been fighting something internally with the devil card, you know, about something from their past or their way of life, giving that up. There's something about making a sacrifice to have a relationship with you. That could have been very difficult for this person. Give me also the page of swords. Something I'm getting you also may have found that out or it's like this person didn't tell you the whole story. You may have known um, a part of the story or, or this person told you like half the truth. Page of Swords, you didn't know everything, Sagittarius. And I feel like what you don't know, it's like you you automatically thought the worst because the Nine of Swords is here. A lot of you guys is kind of like not knowing the whole story. It made you go off on a tangent and think that the absolute worst about this person, think the absolute worst that, you know, maybe they didn't want this with you. It was almost like you had it in your head that, you know, this person was doing something or, you know, there was something going on. You had to find out the truth. But honestly, as we are discovering Sagittarius, this person has gone through something here. There's something that they're dealing with that I don't think they wanted to tell you. Maybe they didn't feel comfortable to tell you. Maybe they felt you would judge them. Whatever happened in the past, I think that there's a reason why someone pulled away. And I think this is you. Because you got energetically that this person wasn't interested. You may have picked up that this person wasn't willing, okay, to make the sacrifice for you. Willing to invest in this connection the way that you wanted them to. Because we have the Eight of Pentacles in verse, right? So why is the Moon card here? Obviously secrets or it could feel like a secret could be feeling like this person's hiding something from you but in actuality you know they're just protecting themselves this could be someone who has their own insecurities about telling you things that they're going through maybe things from their past yeah you know it could be regarding a home situation um king of wands and the four of wands in verse i feel this person could have some fears or insecurities about coming together um regarding marriage this could be something regarding their personal home life um their family there could be some family issues or family drama it's something here that they don't want you to know there's some sort of instability in someone's home life i feel like with the four of wands in a verse it's speaking about a lack of peace a lack of cooperation it's like people are not getting along. There's no harmony. So I feel like there's something going on for sure. And that could be why the Ten of Swords is here. Give me the Magician in a verse. Um, yeah, give me the Magician in a verse. It could be Gemini here. Something hasn't been able to manifest. I feel like there's a, there's an idea that someone doesn't care. Someone doesn't love me. Queen of Cups in verse. You may also feel Sagittarius' person was dealing with someone else. Okay? There's an energy here of 
this person doesn't, you know, they're not showing me their feelings. They're not showing me they care. Why is it two swords here? There could be a decision. Some of you guys, there is a perhaps third party you may have found out and you still think this person is dealing with them. Three of Wands. So there is a waiting period. Now, some of you guys, this is about you waiting on this person, waiting for them to reach out to you. This could be the energy of you waiting for them to make a decision with the two of swords, right? Someone has to make a decision. This could be making a decision regarding a third party. This could be making a decision about how to move forward, three of wands, okay? Let's get your energy Sagittarius. Why is the eight of pentacles in reverse? I see a lot of communication coming through, the eight of wands with the emperor in reverse. Um, I'm seeing communication coming in when you least expect it. Some of you Sagittarius, it's like you pull away or you kind of kind of relinquish control. You say, you know what, I'm going to let this person take care of it because I don't know what to do about the situation. And in doing that, I actually feel like this could help. Okay, it takes the pressure off this person and allows them to perhaps reach out when they want. So I do see some kind of movement. I see some kind of a change, right? Communication finally coming through. But it's coming after you say, pause off. You know, I'm, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go and let this person figure things out. So give me the energy of this person. We have the star. Hopes, wishes, desires, dreams. Queen of Wands. I think this person obviously thinking about you this is someone who wants to repair the connection with you page of pentacles and verse but they're not willing to take that first step just yet there's something that's going on with this person maybe they're healing from something from the ten of swords this person could be actively going through something and they need a moment but one thing i'm seeing is that they are thinking about you sagittarius you are in their energy which means that you're on their mind and when the Queen of Wands is associated with the star, this is someone who does still think highly about you, about the connection. They still are optimistic that this can work out. But I think that this pulling away is because this person is burdened. There's a lot on their plate. What is this Ten of Wands and Ten of Swords about? So yeah, you know, we have the Sun, we have the Ten of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. This person could be um, going through a lot that is affecting their overall stability. Again, this person has hit rock bottom. Ten of Swords, this is someone who may also have hurt you and they're feeling that Ten of Swords, right? But the Two of Pentacles, there's something here where they're going back and forth. I feel like they're trying to figure out their next moves towards you. This is someone who wants a breakthrough with you. The Sun is clarity it's truth it's honesty this is someone who may be wanting to reach out to you but trying to figure out how okay how to maneuver the situation coming up with a strategy a plan a way forward the sun is um opening doors illumination right finding a way there's a will there's a way i feel this person is confident that they could do this they could overcome this but it's taking them some time because there's a little bit of like a back and forth energy one foot in one foot out kind of going back and forth trying to figure out when is the right time there could be something regarding timing here and it may have something to do with the star okay hope healing right as far as the outcome i do see this all coming together okay let's see what this page of pentacles ace of pentacles about the hermit the ace of pentacles in verse and the full universe i feel like this is someone here that may have some trust issues I feel like this is someone who will recognize that there has been a missed opportunity with you. So it's like, yeah, they may not trust love, trust commitment, trust people. But there's something here about taking a break, the hermit, disconnecting, spending time with themselves, um, realizing that something here, you know, hasn't worked out. But realizing that there is also a, a feeling of a missed opportunity, right? So Sagittarius, I even feel like this person has to kind of do things on their own. They have to realize their loss. They have to see that by not having you in their life, this is their loss. This is not what they want. Because the fool is in reverse. I feel like this person's afraid. There's some kind of fear. And it could be regarding having a new beginning, offering stability, fully committing. But we have the hermit. And I feel like this downtime, this separation, this break is allowing this person to do some real deep thinking. And after the hermit, they get answers. They get clarity. And it, the clarity is going to allow them to see that this is something worth nurturing. This is something worth giving to and investing in, right? And we have, this could be this person offering something. This could be an extension of, um, this could be like a date. This could be this person saying, initiating something to hang out. And it's going to result in something very promising. So I do feel like there's a new beginning on the horizon with you and this person. I don't think this is over. 
But anything that offers stability, anything that's durable, it's going to take time to build. And I feel like this is someone who needs time right now. They need time to figure things out. And that's what you're experiencing right now. But I also see a lot of healing happening, right? With the star in their energy, the sun in their energy, healing, recovery after these downfalls, okay? Whatever this is that this person's gone through. So Sagittarius, that is what I'm seeing. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, all right? You guys have a great day.